So I was in the Army for seven and a half years. I love the Army. I, I still do. You put on the uniform, that's what you represent. You have, the, you have that flag on your shoulder for a reason. So my car accident. This animal jumped out in front of me. I swerved. I hit the ditch doing about 65. Uh, rolled my car about three or four times. And um, I suffered a spinal cord injury, the C5, C6. When I first got injured, there was definitely not, driving wasn't even in my, mind's, my mind at that point. And then, you know, as my injury progressed, I started getting a little stronger. Uh, then they started, they put me in a driver's ed program. I drive a uh, 2014 Raptor. It's all blacked out. And the way I get in it, it has what they call valet seat. It's, and what it'll do is come out, it'll pivot and come all the way down to level with my chair. I go ahead and transfer in and then hit a button and it'll bring me right back in. And then I drive with a push rock system and a tri pin because I don't have the dexterity to actually grip the steering wheel. So with that tri pin it allows me to turn the wheel. I also drive, I have a uh, 2016 uh, GMC conversion van that has a uh, VMI lift inside of it. And then on the inside, it also has a seat that you can pivot. And that's more of a, uh, it's more of a travel van, which I utilize quite a bit. And it's very comfortable. And it allows me to travel the whole, whole United States. So my advice to a new injury would be to reach out to somebody and find out what they're entitled to, whether they're service connected or not. You're entitled to something. A vehicle will give you that that freedom, that freedom that you that you lack, whether you want to drive it or not. It's yours.